mean, it's inconceivable for any Western democracy to subsist even for 10 years more if we didn't have, through progressive taxation, a steady transfer of resources from rich people to poor. Well, I consider that we can begin to talk about the world environment and about safeguarding our planet when we, the rich nations, are giving in perfectly formal, institutionalized tax assistance. Oh, at least 1% of our gross national product in development capital for the poorer nations, I would go higher myself. We've got to stop lecturing them while we sit back and in growth, 80% of the world's income for 20% of the world's people. And that, I think, is the critical thing on this development environment issue. you see from the moon, a single, alone, full of light, full of light, and the only single planet that's got these qualities, that that vision, especially among the young, can mean a redirection of how people think about this problem, because you will not create a community unless you've got some moral commitment. And moral commitment needs some very stern underpinnings, because we ain't moral easy. in this ceremony, which has honored three distinguished citizens of the free world, President Pusey, Father Bunn, and our friend from the world of freedom, Lady Jackson. great is the shortage of capital, so obstructed are the means of development that they won't even be able to learn from our mistakes. That, is the, the, that would be the ultimate tragedy. I mean, for us to go and make the mistakes and then no one to learn from them, that really would be a cosmic bad joke.